you must convert in all the right places. In my last article, I talked about the importance of writing compelling email subject lines that will help get you clients by having your subscribers open more of your emails. It's really the very first step as part of an overall and ongoing conversion process with your list. After a prospect decides to take your IFO, irresistible free offer, and join your list, the conversion process is nowhere near complete. It's actually just beginning throughout the life cycle of the people on your list, there are countless opportunities for bettering your conversion. By bettering your conversion, you have a higher likelihood of converting more prospects to clients, clients to buyers, and buyers into raving fans. Let's take a look at some categories where conversion is key and how you can improve your online conversion. Email as previously mentioned. The email subject is the first indicator of how well your emails will convert by the showing the percent of people that are opening and reading your emails. This conversion is known as the open rate. The actual email body, the images, text, URLs, and overall message in your email, convert your email readers into website visitors by clicking through to your website, sales page, or landing page. This conversion is known as the email click-through rate. Duh. Website throughout your website, there are numerous factors that influence your overall conversion. And by website conversion, it could be how many people sign up for your free teleseminar i.e. on a landing page, or how many people order your IFO, i.e. on a squeeze page. Both of these conversions are known as opt-in rate and indicate the percent of people who visit that page and opt-in to your list. For more general websites, such as a sales page, there is first and foremost the headline. The headline has to speak to the visitor and grab their attention. It's usually at the top of the sales page in big and bold letters. Think of it this way, the headline is to a sales page what the email subject is to email. If it's not interesting or compelling, it won't necessarily convert and visitors won't continue in the process. Next is the sub-headline, not as visible as the main headline, but in many ways just important. The actual sales copy gets the most attention and is the overall driving factor that will help conversion. There are so many elements of writing compelling sales copy, I will cover them all in a future post, then, you have testimonials, critical for demonstrating the social proof of your product or service and will help converting the skeptics and those wondering if this really works and could it really work for them. Lastly, there are other minor factors, but those can influence overall conversion. These are mostly semantic like format, video, versus text, graphics, and images, color, font type, etc. All of these factors impact the conversion rate of your website, what percent of visitors who visit ultimately buy. Now come the actual elements of your product or service that will impact your conversion. The most obvious is price. Price too high, and people will click away and look elsewhere. Price too low, you might get a low conversion based on people not feeling the value for your product or service since the price is too low. The options for payment have a big impact on the conversion. Do you offer an incentive for clients to pay in full? What payment plans do you offer in terms of monthly plans and for how many months, what about a guarantee? Do you have one in place to help address the objections of those who want to buy but feel more comfortable there is a guarantee? Does it include a refund policy, and if so, for how long and what conditions apply? These will also ultimately affect the overall conversion of your product or service. At the end of the day, you want to address as many of these factors in the most authentic way possible in order to best increase your conversion in all of your online marketing efforts. By authentic, I mean the following. Doing things in integrity, building a mutual long-term goodwill with your list, becoming their problem solver, giving them good value, it's about the feel-good focus on these, and it will most likely not only help your conversion, but your overall authentic internet marketing.